One of the biggest country music festivals in North America is taking over Ontario this weekend, Boots and Hearts, and we speak to some of the artists before they hit the main stage. But I'm wearing Tennessee orange for you. One of country music's top rising talents, Megan Maroney, rocking boots and hearts for the first time after an iconic performance in Nashville with a Canadian. We are so happy to have you in Canada. I think you know Canada loves you, but I have to get to a question I've already been asked to ask you a thousand times. How did the Tate McRae collaboration happen in Nashville? Oh my gosh, I love Tate so much. Her and I have been like internet friends, you know, like on Instagram and stuff and like talked a little back and forth but she was playing in Nashville and I happened to be home that day and she asked if I would come sing a song with her so I was obviously so excited and I was like what do you want to sing and she was like it'd be cool if we did Tennessee Orange and I was like perfect I know that one um, and it was just really cool she killed it I love her voice the show was like so entertaining she's like such a good dancer such a good singer I'm just like such a fan and it's cool um, to have you know artists friends that you know we support each other so Crowd favorites Brothers Osborne brought the crowd to their feet and had a little sing-along about their favorite show, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, before their performance. Denny boy, Denny boy, I need you. Denny boy, Denny boy, Denny boy, I need you. Boy, boy, oh boy. Oh my God, um, dude, I can go all day. I think that is actual perfection. Now I'm 23 and there ain't nobody who can drink like me. And the ever grateful Chase Beckham played Boots and Hearts for the first time in a country that gave him his first number one single. I wanted to ask you about that headlining tour because I saw you, it was either last year or the year before in Toronto at Budweiser stage with Luke. You're out there throwing some beers out into the, <laughs> the crowd. But how does, you know, pre-show the prep change when you have a headlining tour or even, you know, the post-show? Oh, I just get to play for longer is all. <laughs> so that's all. <laughs> I have to gauge my whiskey drinking a lot more, you know, because I plan for an hour and 15 or an hour and 30. For City News, I'm Lindsay Dunn.